everyone, I'm Rihanna Lilly-Smith from Technology Networks and today I'm excited to be joined by the winner of the 13th annual Nikon Small World in Motion video competition, Dr. Alexandra Dumoulin from the University of Zurich for his 48-hour time-lapse video of developing neurons connecting to the opposite side of the central nervous system in a chicken. This video plays a significant role in understanding neurodevelopmental disorders such as autism spectrum disorder and schizophrenia. So first of all, why are you studying the developmental processes of neurons in embryos? So studying the developmental processes of neurons in embryos is crucial because it provides a fundamental understanding of how the nervous system forms and functions. So the embryonic stage is a critical period where neurons establish connections to one another and establish pathways that determine an individual's future neurological health, basically. So by studying this process, we can, for example, gain insights into the origins of neurodevelopmental disorders and potentially identify targets for interventions. So additionally, understanding embryonic neuron development uh, can inform regenerative medicine strategies, uh, helping scientists and ultimately clinicians repair damaged nervous systems in the future, such as spinal cord injury. Why is it important to capture a visual perspective of neuronal development? Visualizing neural development offers a unique insight into the intricate and dynamic nature of this process. So traditional static images can only provide a limited snapshot, whereas videos from live imaging recordings allow us to witness the growth, migration, and interactions of neurons in real time. So this visual perspective helps us grasp the complexity of neural development, identify abnormalities or anomalies, and refine our knowledge of how neurons form and connect one another, right? So it's a powerful tool for both scientific research, as we do, and education as well, as it makes the intricate world of neurodevelopment more accessible and engaging. And how did you capture the video? Capturing the video involved the combination of advanced microscopy techniques and meticulous uh, sample preparation. I used a specialized microscope equipped with uh, high resolution imaging capabilities with an integrated incubation chamber, uh, allowing me to observe individual neurons in fine detail for quite a long time, 48 hours. So the process uh, required uh, precise dissection skills to make the neurons accessible to the microscopy lenses. That's the, the most important point in the end. So the chicken embryo's intact spinal cord uh, was carefully dissected and placed on a microscopy slide. To visualize the neurons, uh, I used fluorescent markers that specifically labeled them and their projections, making them glow under the microscope. So the, to, the video was captured by recording these uh, fluorescently labeled neurons as they extended and navigated through or across the midline of the spinal cord uh, over time. So the midline is the line separating the uh, both hemispheres of uh, the developing uh, central nervous system. So how do you feel about winning first prize? Uh, winning the first prize in the Nikon Small World in Motion competition is an incredible honor and testament to the dedication and hard work that went into this research. So it's not just a personal achievement, but a recognition of the significance of studying neural development in embryos, I think, So and also to basic research. So I'm thrilled that our work uh, resonated with the judges and hopefully the broader scientific community. So this recognition also highlights the importance of visual storytelling in science as it uh, helps convey complex concepts to a wider audience. And this makes me even more excited to continue my research and share more insights into the fascinating world of neurodevelopment in the future. To make sure you never miss a story, subscribe to Breaking Science News, the daily newsletter by Technology Networks. Bye.